Hello everyone, welcome to another video, and in today's video we are starting in the vehicle assembly building with a perfectly normal SLS that we'll turn into a not normal SLS here in a few seconds. Uh, yeah, I saw this uh, this picture on Discord, someone posted it, I think they might have done it, and they put in the suggestions thing, I think. Uh, and they said, you know, this might be a cool idea for video, and I said, uh, yeah, maybe, you know, and I'm, you know, and this is like a week ago, so I'm like, yeah, yeah, this might be a fun video to do sometime, and, um, you know, it popped back into my brain today, so that is, uh, that's the plan for today's video, is gonna be building a SLS, but, you know, you take, you take the orange tanks, and you, you put them where the boosters are, and you put the boosters where the orange tank goes, it's a, it's a totally sane idea, that just, it makes sense, obviously, this is de definitely how NASA's gonna do, just crazy crossfade over, do, some staging, and then we can get straight out to the launch plat. As you could guess, uh, the launch plat. Um, <laughs> uh, as you could guess, the uh, the construction phase of this rocket is not very difficult. But uh, now we're on the launch pad, and this thing looks very, 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 very stupid. Uh, but it's very, very epic. Um, I've, I love doing these, like putting weird rearranging stuff. I don't. know, It makes no sense, but it's just so fun. Uh, like uh, you know, when um, we're launching. By the way, let's get the time time lapse going. Um, where I put like uh, my sh double shuttle, I put a, like two shuttles on an orange tank. I'm not gonna put any card up because that video had horrible audio quality. I don't know what happened, but either way, uh, yeah. Or like putting SLS or Soyuzes on the SLS as the boost is just pretty fun. And uh, I saw this on the like, uh, great opportunity to do another of these kind of videos because we like stupid ideas, don't we? Here at Pilot Studios. Um, so yeah, this thing actually flies um pretty well. Um, you know, obviously has enough thrust. SLS is an overpowered thing in PSP, but. The problem really starts to rise. What happens after you stage away the booster? Um, because, like, you have two rockets. Um, <laughs> you know? It's like, yeah, you literally just have two rockets. Like, the booster is about to uh, burn out here. And there it goes. And let's see. We stage. And now we have two rockets. Uh, yeah, we have two rockets. That's that's the, that's the gimmick, right? Um, and, you know... What, what on earth could we do with these two rockets, right? We have two separate rockets that are both barely in frame. I'll get to it later. But, um, uh, yeah, what on earth would we do with the two separate rockets? You know, they're, they're identical. So what, what, what's the series I do on this channel where I like to do two similar styled craft and perform mission and, you know, what? what oh, right, my rate. We're going to race these guys. Let's uh, race. You know, get the music going. You know, three, two, one, go, 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 dun, 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 dun. <laughs> Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna be racing these two rockets on a mission today. That's the plan. Oh, that's what we're gonna be doing because I thought that'd be a fun thing to do. So, uh, yeah, we're gonna be racing them on a mission. So these both craft are going to have to do two landings, one on the Mun and then one on Minmus, and then return to Kerbin. So whoever can make it back to Kerbin after doing a Mun and a Minmus landing will be the winner. So we have the right hand side, which is doing a thing and the left hand side which is also doing a thing and they're going to be headed out to the Mun as their first destination now they only have to touch down they don't have to get out or anything it's just trying to get to keep the pace of this video up so all they have to do is hit the ground and then they will complete their task for them to, so they have to like hit the ground on Mun and then hit the ground on the Minmus and then they're just gonna have to you know literally land on Kerbin because yeah so it looks like the right hand side uh, vehicle has taken a little bit of an early advantage. It already has its a trans lunar injection burn uh, planned out. While the uh, left hand side is still planning it themselves. Uh, yeah, uh, full, uh, full disclosure, um, I'm going to be going off of the two videos here to uh, determine uh, who is the winner. I'm not going to be using the mission timer just because of the way transfer windows work. It's kind of unfair to one if they have to wait a little bit, a few extra ro orbits just so, it, you know, just in case, you know, there's like a weird freak MUN encounter or something. Like, I'm mainly talking on the MUN to Minmus burn because you have to wait for them to align and it's kind of weird. So, uh, I just brought these two clips into my editing software and then sped them up equally. So this 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 should give you an equal representation of uh, of the of the uh, how how long it took to do each of these. Uh, yeah, so it looks like the uh, right hand uh, rocket has just arrived at the Mun and is going to be doing its circularization burn. But this is a race. We don't need to do circularization burns. We just need to uh, circularize and then continue burning and then just get on a landing trajectory. So we're just not even going to stop burning once we circularize. Because, oh, it looks like I am. Because, oh, no, we're not. We're already, we're descending. As the left-hand side has, um, 
come into the Monster of Influence. But the right-hand side, we're going to go full screen on it now, is just ready to start its landing bird. It's going to burn the last few meters a second of that mammoth engine to get ourselves lined up with the retrograde direction. As we stage our way, the core, now we're going to reveal the interim cryogenic propulsion stage. That is a bit of a mouthful, uh, which is basically uh, an RL-10 powered stage, which is used to do translator injection, but this is KSP scale, so stuff is weird. Above that is the Orion capsule, and in this one we have, it uh, looks like Jeb and uh, Bob and Valentina, I can read, right? And these guys are now, it looks like they're going to be the first ones down to the Mun, as long as they don't screw up their landing, looking like they're getting nice and close to the surface. They're taking a lot of time to do this burn, come on guys, and... Touchdown, and they're back in the air, and now they're got to go, go, go on out two minutes as we get rid of the launch escape tower. Now, let's see how the left-hand side are doing. They are also now coming down on the Mun, a little bit behind the right-hand side, which is on its way out to Minmus, or on way to circularizing around the Mun as the left side does begin its landing burn. Looks like we did the burn a little bit too early. Now, we have to drift down to the surface and try and get down as quickly as possible. As that is happening, it looks like the right-hand side is now uh, flying on up to its apoapsalus to do its circularization around the Mun. Now it looks like we can go full screen on the left side, and this one is flown by Jeb and Bill, and there we go, touchdown, and back up in the air. We gotta get some time made up as these guys begin to fly flat immediately to get as high of a speed as possible to try and catch up to the right-hand side, but the right-hand side is already circularized, and they are going to start heading out to the very minty ice cream planet called Min Nine Moose. Min Moose. It's called Min Moose. And uh, they are going to have to wait a few orbits to get that transfer window right. So the way I did it with both of these is I just dragged my maneuver node out to get the apoaps at minimum height. And then I just time warped around until they actually got in that uh, type of an encounter until we eventually encountered Minmus. Looks like the right-hand side has now staged away the uh, interim cryogenic propulsion stage. That is, I need to find a quick way to say that. Um, yeah, so now it's just the Orion capsule, which is... Um, I'm going to propel it out to a minimus. It looks like we got a similar situation going on on the left-hand side, but they are still quite a ways behind because they have just done their circularization burn, which is not really a position you want to be in because the right-hand side has just finished uh, their correction burn or a, yeah, a correction burn to get their inclination right around minimus. So now it's going to be going up around in circles. Looks like the right-hand side has got a freak Mun gravity assist, so they're going to have to lower their orbit to get below the uh, Mun's height so they don't have any sort of gravity assist going on there. While that is happening, the left-hand side is now planning their Mun ejection burn, which is going to get them at minimus height, and they're going to have to do a similar situation as the right-hand side and just go in circles until they can get there. Uh, while the two do that, let's give a little bit of a break in the action, so I would like to thank you guys very much for the uh, 1,000 subscribers, by the way. That's a milestone we needed a few days ago, and I already have my 1,000 subs special. You can click on that if you want. There'll be a card. Um, yeah, I don't really want to talk about that too much, just because, you know, I think the time for celebrations passed. We've got to start moving on. Got and got to get to 2K by the end of the year. That's the goal. Let's see if it can happen. Probably not, but I can wish, right? Uh, yeah, if you want to, you know, subscribe. Um... One last uh, little plug is we're doing a community space station on the Discord. This is the last time I plugged this in a video because it's basically starting tonight as of recording. And so, uh, yeah, if you want to join the Discord, this will really... Uh, you can you can still join a few days late if you want to, uh, just you'll have less time to build your module. The way it works basically is uh, everyone will be able to build their own module and then you'll send me the craft file and I'll... Uh, build a space station and I'll make a video a little bigger and everyone will like contribute. It'll be awesome It'll be like everyone. Oh, there's my module. And, oh, that's so lovely, right? And then I'll put the craft file public in the description so anyone who else wants to make a video uh, wants to can so yeah That's the plugs in the description. I don't know who. Oh, I forgot. I forgot. I have a second channel now guys, right? Um, <laughs> my, my list of plugs is getting a little bit long. I have to find a way to shorten these um uh, Daily Rocket Rundown, it's a news channel, should be starting my first upload today, uh, if you're watching on the day of recording. It's a rocket news thing, uh, I think the video should be around 5 minutes in length. Daily Rocket News, go over the Daily Rocket Rundown, it's uh, pretty epic in the description, or I'll put the card right there. That's the end of the plugs, we're coming into Minmus. Uh, both of these guys look like they are pretty much in a pretty similar position. It's just going to be a matter of who can time warp to the... Uh, periapsalus, uh, it looks like they're just doing correction burns now, 
uh, obvious yeah yeah because those are you know purple dotted lines obviously not like the solid ones so they are doing their um they're doing their correction burn. It looks like the right hand side has finished their correction burn first as they can get ready to or they have lowered their perhaps around minimus and now they are going to uh, time warp down to the surface. The left side has also finished their uh, burn, and they are now themselves going to time warp to Minmus, doing the same thing as the Mun, doing the slowdown burn and the uh, the orbit burn in one burn just to get down as quickly as possible. The right hand side is in the lead, just like they were at the beginning of the video. Left hand side really needs to start catching up here as they get retrograde and now the right hand side we're going to go full screen on them as they do their landing bird and take like Val and Bob are having a good time as they are looking like they are going to win if all goes well. So they are going to just go ahead and boop the surface and they are back up in the air just like that and pointing easterly so they can get into Minmus Orbit as quickly as possible while that is happening. The left hand side is also doing their a little more slowing down and they are going to be getting down to the surface as quickly as possible. Hopefully, right hand side probably wants to do a little bit of pitching up so they don't hit the mountains. Come on Val, you should be a better pilot than that. Um, well she did. Well I'm the pilot both of these so um. Would you be interested in doing the, one of these videos um, where, like, I'm not the pilot for both of them? Like, it's actually a race between me and, like, my friend where we try and race to the mud or something? I think that'd be a fun video to do something. Maybe we could have, like, a prize at the end. Let me know if you guys want to see that. Um, Left-hand side now just coming down right on the edge of the Minmus Flats. Jeb and Bill are looking pretty happy even though they are losing, but they are coming in just a little bit hot. And, oh, a little bit of a... A little bit of a... Uh, it's Jeb 2020, right? That's Jeb's... Jeb's epic piloting skills. And now they're back up in the air after doing a little bit of a, a little bit of a loop-de-loop. -loop. Uh, that was totally planned. Um, they are now quite a ways behind as the right-hand side is doing its circularization burn. And then they only have one more burn left until they are landed. So they need to do their deorbit burn around curve. And that's basically, I don't know if that's really the technical term for it. But that's what I'm going to call it because, hey, why not? The uh, left-hand side is also circularized now, and they also need to do their burn. They're going for a much steeper uh, descent because, you know, Jeb is a is a thrill and He's also losing, so he got He's got to got to pick up the pace. Come on, Jeb. The problem with having a much steeper descent is their burn is quite a bit longer. So hopefully that will be worth it. As the right-hand side it looks like I accidentally. Set a too high of an apwaps on the right hand side, so we're gonna have to do one extra burn to get that apwaps lowered into the atmosphere as they come down over the surface of the Kerbin. And now, oh, it looks like they're kind of having some issues attaching from the service module. There we go, just kind of spinning away. Totally safe procedure. And now the left hand side is just falling straight down, pretty much right on the day night split, which is pretty cool. Both these guys coming through the heating left side, probably going to endure a little bit more G's, but Jeb is a pretty chunky guy. He can take it. Right hand side now has come through peak heating. Left hand side has as well. Let's see. Looks like the left hand side has regained a lot of ground. It's coming neck and neck. Let's see who's going to get the parachutes deployed. Bro, they're coming out both at the same time. Who is going to? It's looking like it's going to be really, really, really close. And... Oh, what did, what, what did Jeb do? Oh, he, he got one of the shoots. Oh, a little, little sneaky fellow, isn't he? Um, yeah, Jeb. Oh, he's big, big brain, right? And, oh, they won. Huh. Guess that was a pretty, pretty big brain moment. Well, good job, Jeb, with your parachute cutting thing at the end. That was uh, definitely legal, definitely acceptable. I mean, you know, you can do whatever you want to get there. Um, so, uh, good race. Thanks for watching. Thanks for next time. Please write a comment to the video once again. Thank you for watching. We'll see you next time. And bye.